hello everyone in the last video i have shown how you can register users from our website and save those values inside our database today we will show how we can log in those users from our website so let's go to our code and we will match the username and password from the database from our table so inside our login.php page let's first include our connection.php file Make sure you write the spelling correctly and because without this our website will not connect to the database. So okay. Now let's go to our form where we will give our values. So here method will be post. Other things are same here our button is in the, uh, in the last and here you can see the name of the button is submit again so we will use that inside our if condition so after the section we will start writing our PHP and we will start and end the PHP tag then inside that we will start writing our condition so whenever we will press our login button then something will happen or our query will run so we will write if condition and then inside the second bracket there will be our query so here if the button is pressed or not for this we used a function named is set and then in place of variable we put our button name so there is a way we need to write it like dollar sign underscore post and then inside the third bracket there is a single quotation and then the button name and then that's how we actually see if the button is pressed or not so after this we will write our query so here we will create another variable and we will put our result here so let's make it dollar sign res which will represent our result and here mysqli underscore query then first bracket and don't forget to add the semicolon there we will first add the database connection variable here dollar sign db and then comma then inside the second quotation there we will write our query sql query and we need to give a semicolon so i have just added that first now here in line edit let's just edit this and see if the result are correct or not we will see every information of any user whose username will be let's see let's say we will give c as username and the password is d and that's how we will search for them then press go and you see only this username and password where this two has matches we are seeing this one value and here if we actually use and sign like this this will work to both actually means them so we can use any of that we can write and or we can use two m percent okay we just pasted it here and then we will use this for another purpose this actually select a row the whole row so we will count how many rows have matched as we have made our username unique so we will always get one and if the result doesn't match then our value will be row will be zero so we will use this variable count to keep track of this that how many row have we found that matched our username and password so dollars and count will be equal to we will count the row so there is a way you need to write it mysqli underscore 
then row okay sorry first we need to add number so mysql i underscore number for this we will write num and then underscore rows this function will actually count how many rows are there in our result so we will add the variable dollar sign result and then put a semicolon and this will give us the number of the row that has matched with the username and password that the user has inserted into the form login form okay so now we will use this value of count to show the message that someone has logged in or not so here if dollar sign count variable will be equal to zero that means that no no username and password is matched with the value that our user has inserted so we will show a message here for this you know that we need to close our previous php tag and open another one and inside this too we will show our message inside javascript so we will write script and then inside this we will write our message let's just give our previous message from there just modify it the username and password does not match and after this there is our else condition that means if count is not zero that means the value actually matched with one of the data from our table so we will show a message or we will directly put them inside another page let's just put direct them in, in another page let's say we will direct them in the index page if they logged in so for this we will again close our php and open another php tag and in between them we will write script and then we will direct them into another page for this you need to write window dot location and then you need to give the location that's how you direct them using javascript there is some other ways too i will show in future for now we will just use this this is really easy that's why so window dot location equal to index dot php so if the user log in successfully then they will see that index page and if it is not then they will see the error message so okay there is an error in line 3 so let's see syntax error so okay in not in line 3 it's line 2 so here I have forgotten to add the semicolon okay so inside our login page now we just need to fill this form with anything because in our query we have actually give a username and password fixed we will change that so you see that the login has done and they they took the user to index page so now whenever the button will be pressed we will change this password and username and then if the count value will be 1 then they will take the user to index page or else they will show us the error message and now let's change this too we will use here the value the user will put inside the form in our login page or login form here both the username and password so how we can do that we have used this in the previous code too, previous video too so we need to use here or post here the value that the user will post inside the form so for this we need to write dollar sign underscore post and then username and for the password we will do the exactly same thing dollar sign underscore post and then password So 
now whatever value we will give they will take this value here and the query will run with those value and see if the value match with the value in our table or not and according to that they will do the work you see that the username and password matched so they took us to the index page now we will give wrong information here let's give the wrong password and you see they are showing us the error message because we have shown the message in javascript so so they are actually showing us like that but you can change it too if you want to write it in html format that you can write that way too let's make this a comment okay in html we need to write like this for comment okay so now we will write this error message in a box let's start a deep box here and inside them we will write our message in html we need to write the message in h1 tag or any other tag paragraph tag or something so here we will use strong tag for so the word will be in strong format so we can just see it easily let's just copy the message and put this inside it you can use bold or any other things too if you want to now refresh this and put the values wrong values and you will see this error message here now we will just add some class here we will use bootstrap class as this is really easy we don't need to do any styling or anything this will automatically do most of the styling then we can just change it according to our liking so here we will use alert and alert warning there are some other alert style class too you can see them in w3 school website you can take help from them and make your website pretty okay now you can see there is our message but this is showing in an alert message and the color is a bit different and you can change this color too i will show you a bit later and you can just uh, change the styling here inside this tag if you want to Let's say the white will be 700 pixel. And okay, it's loading again. I need to start the jump again, I think. Okay, so the white actually changed, you see. Now we just need to add a left margin so it goes to the middle position. You can add a margin in the left. Now refresh. You can move that left or right according to the position that you want to see that message and then let's change the class name a bit we are giving alert danger so you will see that it changes to the red color and now you can change the background color of the box too by going to inspect and then click on the box you will see the code and in the bottom part you will see that the styling of that class so here from the background color you can just choose any color that you like Let's say as this is an error message, we will show it inside the red color so you can anybody can see it easily. So we will just copy this hex code and put this inside our styling, inside our code. 
let's add background color inside the styling and then paste the code that we just copied then save it this will be permanently added you refresh it and you will see that this color actually remains like this yeah now we just need to change the color of our word for that we need to add a color let's say we will add white Yeah, now the message is actually showing properly and you can actually style the strong tag too to make the writing in the middle position like some adding some margin to the strong tag and you see everything is working properly if we give the wrong message it will show us the error message too